Hi to all, welcome to potentiometers topic, electrical measurements, it is instrumentation or potentiometers is the part of uh, electrical measurements or instrumentation. Potentiometer, DC potentiometers and AC potentiometers to classified. What is DC potentiometer? What is a potentiometer? Let us discuss now. Initially, what is potentiometer? A potentiometer is an instrument that is designed to measure unknown voltage by comparing with a known voltage. A potentiometer majorly used to find the unknown voltage by comparing with known voltage. Known voltage in the sense standard voltage. Now the DC potentiometers and AC potentiometers. If we are using a DC DC supply, then only it can be called as a DC potentiometer. If we are using AC supply, if it is a AC per supply, if we are using it is AC potentiometer. A potentiometer is instrument designed to measure unknown voltage by comparing with a known voltage. This known voltage may be supplied by a standard cell. A standard cell is using in potentiometers to standardize the potentiometer or direct reading. The standardization is one of the process before starting measurement of unknown resistance in DC potentiometers. A DC potentiometer or potentiometer is a null type instrument. It is used to measure the voltage ranges between 0 to 1.6 volts only it can be cannot be used for higher voltages if high voltage is there voltage ratio box will be used a potentiometer is an null type instrument used to measure the voltages of ranges 0 to 1.6 volts only a potentiometer is also called as absolute instrument because why it is called absolute instrument because it is used for calibration of secondary instruments like pmmc voltmeter pmmc meters like that before discussing the potentiometer, what is basic slide wire potentiometer? It is the basic principle of operation of slide, slide wire potentiometer is basic principle of operation of any DC potentiometer can be explained by basic slide wire. The principle of operation of any potentiometer based, based on this slide wire potentiometer. If you understand this topic, basic slide wire potentiometer, if you understand this topic, basic slide wire potentiometer, then you can easily understand every potentiometers whatever dc either dc or ac but ac in some phase angle also will come basic slide wire potentiometer is the mainly we are using to understand the principle of potentiometer it consists of what are the parts what how it works what is the purpose of galvanometer basic slide wire potentiometer consists of one slide wire one rheostat and one standard cell and unknown voltage what is the purpose of battery is 2 volts battery we are using in potentiometer to supply the current. The power supply will be given to the potentiometer through battery. And a slide wire, a slide wire of length 200 centimeters long, it is easily slidable, easily mobile contact will be placed. Coming to construction of basic slide wire potentiometer, this is the battery. This is the battery and RH rheostat is there right side and we can draw here. This is the battery battery used to supply the battery used to supply the current and RH is the rheostat to adjust the working current. RH is the rheostat to adjust the working current we are using this rheostat. A battery normally used to give the powers power for potentiometer. A 2 volts battery can be you can use or 10 volts battery also we can use and a slide wire of length 200 centimeter. It is the slide wire having length 200 centimeters. And a sliding contact is required and a sliding contact is required for this. The sliding contact easily mobile on slide wire by using a switch a galvanometer is connected the switch is K as shown in figure and unknown voltage and the standard voltage when the switch yes in downside yes switch is there yes if it is kept in operate unknown voltage will be measured if it is kept in offside a uh, unknown calibrate means a standard cell will be connected this is the standard cell but here not written it is the standard cell 
standard cell it is standard cell voltage is required for that is 1.0186 volts is the standard cell voltage basically this is the main circuit diagram of a, D, a slide wire DC potentiometer function of rheostat rh one of the function what is the function of rh is to weigh bearing the rh in the case of battery working current will flow through the battery and the slide wire a current is required for potentiometer that current and resistance voltage drops is main important plays important role in potentiometer hence the function of rheostat is by wearing the rheostat rh we can flow a small current working current that is what is the working of basic slide wire potentiometer with the switch s is in operate position the galvanometer k is open the switch is in kept in operate position and k is open now the battery supplies working current i through rh and slide wire the working current through slide wire may be varied by changing the rheostat setting the working current of the battery can be varied by changing the rheostat setting the method of measuring the unknown voltage is depends on where sliding contact such that the galvanometer shows zero deflection when you vary the sliding contact when you vary the sliding contact when e1 equal to e then the unknown voltage is equal to 100 100 if the sliding contact is at 100 what is the voltage is 1 volt 100 if it's sliding contact 200 then it is 0 2 volts like that by varying that function clearly you can understand a calibrated scale is there along the slide wire in fractions of centimeters it is placed along the slide wire so that sliding contact may be placed accurately at any desired position along the slide wire hence we can place a sliding contact at the desired position by wearing sliding contact we can obtain null condition after that we we can measure the unknown voltage since the resistance of slide wire is known accurately the voltage drop across the along the slide wire can be controlled adjusting the value of working current because we know the resistance of slide wire already and we are measuring the unknown voltage by wearing the sliding contact before doing that we have to go for standardization standardization is the process of adjusting working current working current so as to match the voltage drop across slide wire again as the standard reference source is known as standardization before measuring the unknown resistance unknown voltage unknown current calibration we have to do any potentiometer we can see the link in uh, dc crompton's potentiometer how to do standardization with the standard cell already it uh, the video kept in in channel you can see that link also you can understand practically what is Crompton's potentiometer the standardization is the process of adjusting working current it is very important that the voltage drop across the slide wire is equal to standard cell voltage that when the standard cell voltage is equal to voltage drop across the resistance then the galvanometer shows null condition at that moment the standardization is completed Standardization is the procedure for standardization of potentiometer is illustrated in the example. Standardization means making direct reading from the potentiometer. Making the potentiometer direct reading without taking by taking the dial settings then we can take directly on the potentiometer. Hence it is standardization means making the potentiometer making direct reading. The slide wire has total length of 200 centimeters and resistance of 200 ohms. This is a slide wire having total length is 200 centimeters and resistance of 200 ohm. The EMF of standard cell is 0 0.1.0186 volt. This is a very important. The standard cell voltage is the standard cell voltage is 1.0186 volts. It is very important to, to understand that uh, standard cell voltage is some voltage that is 1.0186. What is standard cell? It give constant voltage without varying with respect to time that is the standard cell a switch s yes, is thrown to calibrate position and sliding contact is placed at 101.86 centimeter because we given the voltage is 
1.086 voltage is the standard cell voltage. If you kept the switch at 101.86 cm, then the galvanometer shows null condition, then the standardization is working. Then now the what is the current in standardization, let us discuss. When the switch is K is switched on, no deflection when K is pressed under this condition, the voltage drop in 101.86 cm is proportional to slide wire resistance of 101.86. Therefore, working current is 1.0186 voltage current voltage divided by resistance of a slide wire in 2000 gives 10 milliamps. That is the standardization process. The standardization of a potentiometer is the process of adjusting working current supplied by the supply battery such that voltage drop across some portion of sliding wire is equal to standard cell voltage. This is the important is the standard cell voltage equal to slide wire voltage drop. Then the current will be 10 milliamps will flow. After the standardization we do not adjust the some rheostats rheostat setting all will not be adjusted there are two types of potentiometers ac and dc similarly dc potentiometers are classified into crompton's dc potentiometer or laboratory type potentiometer crompton's potentiometer or laboratory type potentiometer it is also known as student type potentiometer to learn in the laboratories, how to measure the unknown resistance, unknown voltage or calibration of PMMC voltmeter by using Crompton's potentiometer, we did a experiment that is also mentioned in, link is mentioned in description. The slide wire potentiometer is not a practical form of construction actually because the length of the slide wire is 200 centimeters. Hence, it seems to be awkward and that is inappropriate for laboratory. Hence, the slide wire is converted into to read great degree of accuracy, pressure is required, long slide wire and it seems to be awkward and accuracy also very less. For that we used the laboratory type potentiometer consists of what are the parts of laboratory type potentiometer we can see here. Dial switch, dial register, circular slide wires, three parts are there mainly, dial switch, dial register and small circular slide wire. The circular slide wire takes a small area whereas length of slide wire is 200 centimeter means it takes a larger area hence we use small circular wire in Crompton's DC potentiometer. The circuit of a simple laboratory potentiometer as shown in figure. The circle of side wire is small. The dial switch having 15 steps that we have to remember. The dial switch has 15 steps that we have to remember. The dial switch has 15 steps having pressure resistance. 10 ohms each slide wire is and dial register have the value of 10 ohms each. 15 steps are provided in Crompton's potentiometer and one dial wire also that slide wire has 10 ohms resistance. Each step has 10 ohm, 15 steps means 150 ohm plus 10 ohm total will be. The dial has total resistance of 150 ohm, the slide wire resistance of 10 ohm the working current of potentiometer is 10 milliamps similarly what we did because we are using standard cell voltage across inversely the standard cell voltage is for potentiometer is 1.0186 volts each step of dial switch corresponding to voltage drop is 0.1 volt slide wire voltage drop equal to 0.1 volts the slide wire is provided with 200 volts division that is circular slide wire 200 volts division scale is marked you can see in the lab also therefore each division of slide wire has voltage drop 0.005 volts each division of slide wire has voltage drop 0.1 by total slide wire resistance is 15 ohm divided by 200 gives 0.005 volts that is 5 millivolts it is possible to estimate the readings up to 0.0001 volt also you can measure by using Crompton's potentiometer. The potentiometer is provided with double throw switch which allows the connect and make the either standard cell or already slide wire potentiometer lo vidanga cheppamo adhe vidangane for the same a slide wire is slide wire in the form of circular it is placed. A key also provided it is the Crompton's DC potentiometer. It is the Crompton's potentiometer similar to rheostat working battery. It is the dial switch. 
it is the dial switch dial switch having total resistance is 150 ohm and slide wire circular slide wire 10 10 ohms and uh, having uh, uh, scale is 200 centimeter total draw divisions are 200 will be there each step has how many volts already i told you in the last each step has 15 ohm it is each step as resistance is 15 ohm the total resistance of dial wire is 150 ohm and 15 steps are there by adjusting this and this slide wire we are seeing the crampton's potentiometer null condition similarly for slide wire potentiometer how we connected here also we connected one standard cell and unknown emf when the switch is in calibrate position standard cell will be connected after that unknown measurement operate when the switch is in operate condition unknown emf will be connected to the potentiometer now if you connect an unknown voltage by wearing the 15 steps and slide wire we are seeing the galvanometer zero condition by pressing the switch a protective resistance is connected across the switch because to protect the galvanometer we are using heavy currents whenever it flows the galvanometer may be damages hence we are using 10 kilo ohm protective switch this is the crompton's dc potentiometer circuit diagram it is very important for exam point of view similarly what we did for basic slide wire potentiometer the same procedure is required for crompton's dc potentiometer also a numerical problem based on crompton's potentiometer this is the numerical problem a basic slide wire potentiometer having battery voltage 3 volts with negligible internal resistance the resistance of slide wire is 400 ohm and the length is 200 centimeter a 200 centimeter scale is placed along the slide wire the slide wire has 1 mm scale division and it is possible to read up to a division the instrument standardized with 1.018 volts that is standard cell voltage sliding connect at 101.8 centimeter on scale calculate working current the resistance of series rheostat the measurement range the resolution of the instrument this is the given data is battery voltage is 3 volts resistance of slide wire rs is 400 ohm length of the slide wire is 200 centimeter vs equal to vs the standard cell voltage equal to 1.0186 volts actually what they given 0 0.1866 maybe third division it is assuming that it is possible to read 1 by fifth of division since the instrument has standardized with sliding contact position of 101.8 centimeter because it should be standardized with because uh, standard cell voltage is 1.06 we have to remember this at this position the uh, standardization will be completed resistance of uh, length 101.8 centimeter length of the resistance is rs is the total uh, 101.8 by 200 into 4 uh, standard rs is the uh, standard resistance of 400 ohm that is uh, 203 working current is voltage drop across this length by device resistance gives 5 milliamps resistance of series rheostat total resistance means slide wire resistance gives total resistance is vt by i working current 3 by 5 into 10 power minus 3 600 ohm rh equal to 600 minus 400 200 ohm is the rheostat setting measurement range p equal to i v equal to i into rs 5 into 10 power working current into rs equal to 2 ohms resolution means 200 centimeter represent 2 volts voltage drop across 1 mill, 1 1 mm length equal to 1 millivolt therefore resolution is 1 into 10 power minus 3 into 1.5 1 divided by 5 resolution of the instrument is 1 millivolts up to 1 millivolts also we can use what is resolution this is it is the smallest change in length that can be measured that can be, it is the smallest change in variable that can be easily measurable by, by the instrument is known as resolution for a smallest increment suppose 0 0.1 is the resolution for a 0 0.1 0 0.001 the smallest resolution is 0 0.001 it is another problem regarding potentiometer having battery negligible voltage resistance it is similar to slide wire potentiometer now 
for high voltages we are measuring using voltage ratio box the voltage ratio box we are discussing now what is voltage ratio box high voltage will be converted into according to potentiometer required maximum voltage 1.6 the the potentiometer can measure up to 0 to 1.6 only hence for high voltages can be converted and stepped down to by using volt ratio box voltage ratio box it is also called for higher voltage ratings have to measured up by precision potential divider it is a voltage ratio box is a potential divider called a voltage ratio box it is used the voltage ratio box provides multiple ranges as shown in figure multiple ranges because if you want to 200 volts you can give but potentiometer two potentiometer terminal it is we can see in two potentiometer terminal it is the two potentiometer terminal potentiometer terminals these are f 200 volts 300 volts 100 volts it is input for the volt ratio box potential divider is it is the voltage to be measured is connected to appropriate binding post the posts are provided for potential divider across that you can connect suppose the voltage to be measured is connected between common terminal and 300 volt switch common terminal and 300 volt switch if the reading of potentiometer is 0 0.826 then then the value of unknown voltage is 0 0.826 into 300 divided by 1.5 that is 165.2 the reading of potentiometer is if the reading of the potentiometer the potentiometer shows 0 0.86 volts then unknown voltage will be calculated by using potentiometer reading into 300 divided by 1.5 that gives 165.25 where what is 1.5 stand two potentiometer it is some portion of the potential divider is connected to potentiometer at that portion what is the voltage will be 1.5 volts and we are given 300 volts 300 divided by 1.5 into with potentiometer gives some value that value is 0 0.826 that gives 165.25 the value of voltage ratio box resistance should be high as possible in order to power consumption is low the ratio box resistance should be high hence uh, power loss will be less because it won't allow the current and potentiometer also will not be damaged if you use high resistance ratio box next video we will discuss about some other AC potentiometers.